He was the only, the only leader, 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 leader who realized his vision in his own life. His own life. He, was life. he was born in Mecca as an orphan. As an orphan. As an orphan. He, was he was raised in Mecca. Raised in Mecca. Raised in Mecca. He was driven he was out, driven of, out Mecca. of Mecca. He was punished. He was punished. 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 Had, to Had to flee. He was persecuted. He was persecuted. His, followers His followers were killed. Followers were killed. 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 But Allah allowed, but allowed him to come, to come back 23 years later as a victor. As a, victor. As a, victor. As a conqueror. As a conqueror. As a conqueror. As a conqueror. And when he came and back, came back, came back, came back, he gave he everyone gave amnesty. amnesty. He realized, he realized his vision, his vision. and after, and that, after, that, after that, that, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spread spread his message. message. He spread, he spread Islam, 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 Islam throughout, throughout the, the peninsula, peninsula of Arabia, 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 so that Islam became Islam established, became established, established as, a state, as a state, as a government. As a government. He, was he was the ruler, the ruler, ruler, ruler. He was still eating, still eating and drinking and dressing the same way that he was doing as he was born and as he grew up. The Prophet handed over his life to his Lord. He gave up his life to his Lord and passed on 23 years after the revelation came to him. He was 40 when the revelation came. He was 63 when he passed away. And the next four men that succeeded him, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, and Ali ibn Abdul Talib. In those next 32 years, the Muslim frontier spread from the Arabian Peninsula all the way to what is now Italy. All the way to what is now Spain. All the way to what is now West Africa. All the way to what is now Indonesia. All the way to what is now China. This is what Allah manifested from that man, from that message, from that revelation, from that inspiration, from that legislation. Still is in the earth today. Take all the Quran and all the Bible and all the Torah and all the Zabur and all the other books, throw them in the ocean. All the religions would have no way to get their message back. But because Allah caused that revelation that came to Muhammad that inspiration that came to Muhammad that legislation that is in the world today every place must be gathered there's at least one or two or three or three that has memorized this book this book this book this book this is the evidence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he will preserve it and he has preserved it to the hearts of the believers that is the message of Muhammad that is the evidence of his message O Muslims and O non-Muslims the Prophet Muhammad was the only prophet that realized his vision and he became the executive and the law preserver. He was not a law giver. No, the law came from Allah. But he was the executive that executed and guarded that law. Muhammad he he taught the he taught whole of humanity. Of humanity. He, passed he passed on his on teachings, his teachings, teachings, teachings so, that the, so that the Quran was preserved and, preserved, and his and sunnah, sunnah was preserved. Was preserved. We, have we have with us today, with us today, today, today books, books like Sahih like al-Bukhari, Sahih, Bukhari, 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 Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim, Muslim Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Nasai. We have these books, the Sahih Sitta, among them, more than 14,000. Documented, documented authentic, authentic ahadith from the Prophet 
that we can trace right back to his mouth. That we can trace right back to his behavior. That we can trace right back to his approval. No one else has a posterity of documentation like that. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam without doubt was the man who brought the most powerful message.